The O'Rourke McFadden Trophy goes to the winner of the ACC rivalry game between the Clemson Tigers and the Boston College Eagles. It was really a measure of goodwill by those surrounding Boston College, honoring Clemson for welcoming the school into the ACC back in 2005. The trophy harkens back to a simpler time and the first and most historic matchup between these two programs. We'll delve deeper into the meaning behind the trophy and jump right into that first showdown on this episode of Stadium Rivals. The fourth edition of the Cotton Bowl Classic in 1940, the finale of the 1939 season, pitted the Tigers against the Eagles, the first matchup between the two programs. The leaders of their respective teams in that game? Well, that was BC's Charlie O'Rourke and Clemson's Banks McFadden. See where the trophy name comes from? O'Rourke went 26-3-2 from 1938 to 1940 as BC's quarterback. Banks McFadden was his opposing starter under center, where in 1939 he went 9-1 with the Tigers, earning the program its first top 20 season on record and first bowl appearance. On the last play of the first quarter of the Cotton Bowl, it was O'Rourke who made an impact. He fielded a punt from the Clemson 40 and returned it to the 13, setting up a field goal to start the second quarter. McFadden then showed up, returning a punt of his own to the Eagle 33. McFadden helped push the team forward before Charlie Timmons punched one in, and after a missed extra point, it gave Clemson the 6-3 lead. The game then turned into a defensive struggle. McFadden, also a punter, averaged 44 yards on nine punts, including two 50-yard boots in the second half, preventing BC from gaining optimal field position. Clemson's defense made the 6-3 score stand, earning the Tigers their first bowl victory. But the loss did not haunt Boston College the following year, the 1940 season, as the team went on to win the national championship. The two teams would meet in the regular season in 1941 with BC looking for revenge. The Eagles split games between Alumni Field and Chestnut Hill and at Fenway Park during that time, and this one was played at the old ballpark. 22,000 saw the Tigers defeat BC again, this time 26-13. BC won its first eight games in 1942, climbing all the way to number one in the AP poll. In the second game of the year, the Eagles took down the Tigers for the first time, 14-7. BC needed one final win against Holy Cross to secure a second national title in three years, but the team was shocked at home at Fenway, 55-12. BC would win again in 1947, but after eight contests between 48 and 60, Clemson went 5-1-2. The teams would meet after a 22-year hiatus once again in 1982. Danny Ford brought Clemson, the previous year's championship team, into this rivalry game a week after a surprising loss to Herschel Walker in number seven Georgia. But Clemson starting the game as 12-point favorites with William the Refrigerator Perry anchoring the D pulled out to a 14-0 lead at the half. However, BC had a star of their own, quarterback Doug Flutie. Flutie hit Joe Scone for a 15-yard touchdown tying the game at 14 in the fourth. The teams traded field goals, and that's where things would stall, ending the game on a 17-17 tie. BC earned its first bowl berth since 1942 that winter after an 8-2-1 campaign. 1983 would be Flutie's coming out party. There's one lesson that you learn in a game like this, said BC head coach Jack Bicknell. Never give up on Doug Flutie. Bicknell's quote came after Flutie completed one of BC's biggest comebacks. Down 16-3 early in the third, Flutie, all of 5'9", led the Eagles to four touchdowns in the last 18 minutes and 50 seconds to upset Clemson 31-16. Flutie threw two of the TDs, finishing 20 of 36 for 223 yards. Tony Stratford added 179 yards on the ground in the big win. Boston College joined the ACC in 2005, and the rivalry was restarted in the Atlantic Division for the first game since that 83 comeback. Clemson would like to forget what we'll call the Matt Ryan years of the rivalry. Ryan would never lose to Clemson in his tenure, winning 16-13, 34-33, and 20-17 from 2005-07, to throwing for more than 200 yards in each of those victories. In 2008, the Boston College Gridiron Club created the O'Rourke McFadden Trophy. The winner gets to take it home, and the MVP of the game gets a gold leather helmet. The trophy features two leather helmet replicas of the ones worn by O'Rourke and McFadden in that 1940 Cotton Bowl game. The main trophy features a football head bust and the scores of the contest on the side of a wooden block. Clemson took it home first, winning the 08 contest 27-21. Boston College has taken home the trophy just one time, and that came in 2010. 13 unanswered points in the second quarter led the Eagles to a 16-10 victory. 
The fall in the Boston College football program has coincided with the rise of Clemson's program under head coach Dabo Sweeney. National champs in 2016 and 2018, Clemson has not lost to BC since that 2010 matchup, taking home the O'Work McFadden Trophy eight straight times from 2011 to 2018. Clemson and Boston College have a long history, but not necessarily a deep one. The Tigers hold a 17-9-2 edge, heading into the 29th matchup in 2019. It has an impressive rivalry trophy and a lot of mutual respect, but we'll see if Boston College can return to glory in the ACC, now dominated by Clemson. But this rivalry game is just as important as any, and we break down the best in college football right here on Stadium Rivals.